love my porch. I'm so happy to finally have a porch after living here as long as we have. Um, we've been here, this is our fifth summer here, and our previous house in Ohio had a gorgeous front porch. And so that was one thing I really missed when we moved here, was having a place to sit and just look at stuff. And so we extended our porch uh, at this house, and just recently we had the ceiling finished, and I finished painting, or actually staining, up here with the, the gray stain. And the last thing I need to do to finish this thing finally is to do the, you can see it back there, the uh, the overhang, adding the, the screen part to the overhang in order to prevent bugs or whatever that wants to live up in that little portion of the roof. So really I'm doing it because I wanted to match the other part. That's really why I'm doing it. It's not like I have this real great ambition that it has to have this metal. It's really for me, it's just because it matches. I need to make things match. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today, despite the fact that it is unreasonably miserable out. It's about mid eighties and I'm telling you, this, you, I was raised in the South, in the North. I have been up here long enough to think this is miserable and it's so humid. I'm hoping it actually rains, which is why I'm picking this project today. Hopefully it will rain and I can still work on it under, underneath the roof. So that's what I'm doing today. And uh, my first step for this is to actually cut the measure of the wire. I know it needs to be about 15 and a half inches wide. And I'm gonna cut a bunch of that size uh, wire out of the, the roll that I have and then staple it up. Super, super, super easy if it weren't so darn miserably hot. Okay, why in the world am I on the front porch? Why am I not inside doing this? Honestly, I think it's because this is just a better scene for the video. I should be inside the air conditioning. But I wanted to show you, I'm using here today, I have this hard wire cloth that I'm using. I got it at a local store and it has, it's the really, really, really thin holes, little tiny holes. Seriously, should have had this opened before it's the record button. Okay. So you can see that it has these really tiny little holes. So what I'm gonna do, my tools will be wire cutters and wire and measuring tape so that I know how wide to make them. I know it's 15 and a half inches because I've already measured. So that's what I'm gonna do is cut away. So after a good solid 10 minutes of trying to cut the wire by hand using those hand wire cutters, I thought, let me get smarter with this. So I'm gonna use um, my tool. I have no idea what it's called. This thing, I love it because it cuts metal. So I'm gonna use this and see if I can make this faster. was I smart. That took a fraction of the time that hand cutting all that wire would have taken. This is probably one of my least perfect projects I've done. It looks horrible. 
and I've had to fight off wasps and hornets and bees and uh, but it's done. I think that it will have it'll protect that area for a little while. Uh, we'll be able to sit on the porch and in view the enjoy the wonderful view off our porch and our growing pasture without hopefully being attacked by stingy things. So um, yep, that's it. I think I'm going to call it quits because I'm exhausted and this has taken something I thought was going to be pretty easy has turned into be a lot worse, a lot more difficult than I anticipated. So, but it's done. I'm calling it quits. Thanks for watching guys.